for a spin one half particle in state ket psi equals one half plus z plus i squared to three over two ket negative z. We're going to find the expectation value, which is a really fancy way of saying the average value, which I much prefer. And we're going to find the uncertainty delta sz. Okay, so we're going to find the expectation value, value, or the average value. Okay, so to do this, we represent it with these triangle brackets here. And this is equal to just kind of like when we were finding the, uh, the probability earlier, we're going to square um, our probability amplitude here. So we multiply the complex conjugate times uh, the non-complex conjugate. All we're going to do is take on what we're actually expecting to find the result of our experiment, which is h bar over 2, positive for plus c. And then again, we do our probability amplitude for our other case, and we multiply that by what the result of our experiment would be uh, if we found it in the negative z state, which is negative h bar over 2. So we do this, and this here, we know from the last video, is equal to 1 half. So there's no i term, so it's just 1 half squared times h bar over 2. And this here, from last video again, we know is i square root 3 over 2. Now remember, we have to multiply by the complex conjugate. So negative i square root 3 over 2 times i square root 3 over 2. And this is going to be equal to, so negative i, or i squared is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 makes a positive. So we have 3 over 4. Then again, multiply this by negative h bar over 2. So this whole equation will go to 1 quarter times h bar over 2 plus 3 quarters times negative h bar over 2, which is equal to h bar over 8 plus, or sorry, minus minus here, sign is very important, minus 3 h bar over 8. So in total we get uh, negative 2 h bar over 8 or negative h bar over 4. Right there. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Sorry about that. Okay, so we get negative 2 h bar over 8 and negative h bar over 4. Okay, so next we're going to need to calculate um, the square. So this is to get our uncertainty. So keep in mind to get uncertainty uh, this is equal to the square root of sz squared minus sz all squared. Okay, so we've just found uh, our first step. So here, the only thing we have left to do is square that, but that's okay. And now we want to find uh, this here. So sz squared. So this is going to be equal to, thankfully, so we'll simplify the calculation. So squared. Now all we have to do is take on what we're expecting our result again. And here we just multiply by h bar over 2. Now we have h bar over 2 squared. That's really the only difference. So we're just squaring what we're expecting to get the result of our experiments here. So plus negative z psi squared negative h bar over 2 squared. So as above, this is going to be a quarter, we know. Sorry, this whole term here is going to be a quarter. This whole term here is going to be 3 over 4 because of this reasoning right here. And so Again, we have the h bar over 2, all squared, and again, the negative h bar over 2, all squared. And so when we do this out, we get h bar over 16 plus 3 h bar squared over 16, which is 4 h bar squared over 16. And now we can cancel out here and get down to h bar squared over 4.
So that's the other term we need to complete this expression here. So now let us finally do our uncertainty. Uncertainty. So this, our uncertainty, is equal to the square root, s in squared, minus right here. And really what you're doing here is the standard deviation um, of your system and the average value. But this is just kind of an easier way to represent it and an easier way to calculate it. So we know this right here is equal to this right here. So we have, um, well, yeah, so we have h bar squared over 4. You'll see how we can simplify this in a second. And negative h bar squared over 4 squared. Because again, we just have this term here. And we're just going to square this whole thing here, which is what we did. So this, we can then say, is, you know, just to make it a little more evident. So 4 h bar squared over 16 minus h bar squared over 16, which is equal to 3 h bar squared over 16, which is equal to the square root of 3 over 4. And now our h bar uh, squared and a square root, so that's just going to be h bar right there. So I guess you could also write this if you like decimal places. Um, so there, so it's equal to that. Now what does this actually mean? So this means our uncertainty in delta SZ is 0 0.43 h bar 